Hello, this is the Via Christi Family Medicine Neuro Exam video. This is meant to help the incoming intern class um, be able to prepare for their neuro OSCE. Um, we're going to be going through a pretty thorough head to toe neuro exam, and um, hopefully, you find this helpful. Uh, we have Dr. Tom Dagg here as our test patient, and I am Joseph Simley. So, to start things off, um, we'll start with the neuro status exam. So, Tom, um, if you want to just answer three quick questions for you, can you please tell me your name, your full name? Tom Dag. All right. Uh, where are you at right now? In St. Francis Clinic. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me the month and the year? It's August 2018. Okay, perfect. And then um, I'm going to point, and if you can just tell me what I'm pointing to. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me what I'm pointing to right Your now? hand. Okay. And then the finger. Okay. And then finger now. All right. Perfect. So next we're going to um, examine the cranial nerves and we start with the eyes. Um, one thing that you can do is a fundoscopy. So usually with fundoscopy we would um, dim the lights in the room, but for the sake of um, shooting the video we are not doing that right now. And then um, usually at a 45 degree angle from the patient, you would want to focus the light and try to find their retina. And as you lock into it, just keep getting closer and closer and closer. And then if you can see a vessel, usually you want to focus on that vessel as you get closer and closer and then follow it and look around. Of course this is difficult to do usually in a regular physician's office usually you need to dilate their pupils to get a better view. Um, next um, you can use the light to check the pupillary reflexes so if you want to just focus on my nose take a look. Okay, Very good. All right, very good. And then to check vision, um, we can use a Snellen chart. Um, if you don't have one on you, you can just use your name tag as well. Pretty much anything with small print to test their vision. All right, Tom, if you can hold this in front of you and at a comfortable <coughs> distance. Um, first of all, do you wear any corrective lenses? No. All right, and so hold this at a comfortable distance for you. And if you can cover up one eye, and read the lowest line that you can read. Uh, P, F, C, D, T, Z, L, E. Perfect. And then if you can cover up your other eye, again, read the smallest line you can read. P, F, C, D, T, Z, L, E. Okay. And then with both eyes, read the lowest, smallest P, line. P, F, C, D, T, Z, L, E. All right. Perfect. Thank you. <clears throat> Next, we'll check our visual fields. All right, so um, Tom, if you want to just focus on my nose, mm -hmm. cover up your left eye, and then while focusing on my nose, tell me how many fingers I am holding up. One. Okay. Two. Two. Five. All right, cover up your other eye. Again, focus on my nose, and tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Two. Five. Five, zero. All right, very good. And usually you want to use one, two, or five fingers because three and four can get a little confusing to discriminate. So next we'll check for the extraocular movements. So if you keep your head still and focus on my finger with just your eyes, follow my finger. Very good. All right, and then we're going to touch uh, next test sensation on the face. So if you want to close your eyes, tell me um, which side I'm touching. Right side. Uh-huh. Right side. Left side. And if I touch each side, does it feel same or different? The same. Okay. All right, well, next we're going to differentiate between dull and sharp touch. Um, 
So the back of the safety pin will be dull and then the sharp point will be sharp, okay? Tell me if you, close your eyes and tell me if you feel sharp or dull. Okay. Okay. Sharp. Mm-hmm. Sharp. Yep. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. And then if we can um, have you just do what I do. Can you close your eyes real tight? Uh -huh. Open them real wide. Good. Smile real big. Show me your teeth. Okay. Very good. Can you please open your mouth, stick your tongue out, say ah. Ah. Very good. Wiggle your tongue from side to side. Very good. And then, are you able to hear this? Mm hmm. How about this side? Yeah. And then, do you hear it on both sides or one side? Both sides. Okay, how about now? Just the right side. Okay, very good. And then, can you lift your shoulders up? Mm -hmm. Very good. Relax. And then, can you resist? Resist. Very good. Resist. Very good. Alright, so next we're going to test motor. So do that. You're going to start by making chicken wings. Yep. Don't let me push down. Very good. Now can you put your arms up like this? Don't let me pull. Good. Don't let me pull. Good. Don't let me push. Good. Don't let me push. Good. Can I see your hands please? Alright. Don't let me push up. Don't let me push up. Don't let me push down. Don't let me push down. Very good. You can relax. Next, if you want to lift your leg up against my hand, great. Other side. Good. Kick your leg out. Good. Kick this leg out. Very good. Now pull it in. Good. Pull this in. Good. Push down on my hand. Good. Push down. Good. Up. Good. And up. Very good. And then can you tap your fingers just like this? Very good. Next we'll check for pronator drift. So if you can um, close your eyes and yep, put your arms straight out. Yep. Close your eyes and keep them there. Alright, very good. You can relax. So next we can test for sensory. Um, again, if I touch, does it feel same or different on each side? The same. Okay. Again, I'm going to check um, for which side you can feel it on. So if mm -hmm. you can close your eyes, tell me which side I'm touching you on. Right side. Uh huh. Which side? Left side. Uh huh. Left. Okay. Right. Left. Okay. <coughs> Left side. Mm hmm. Right side. All right. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Left. All right. Okay. Now this time I'm going to do either sharp or, dull, sharp or dull. Let me know what you feel. Okay. Close your eyes again. Sharp. Dull. 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 Sharp. 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 Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Okay. So next we're going to do reflexes. Um, we can just start up here with the triceps reflex. So if you want to just relax. Yep. Very good. Great. Other side. Relax. Very good. Okay. Wrinkle radialis reflex. Relax. Okay. Okay. Biceps reflex. Okay. Relax your legs. Patella reflex. Okay. And then Achilles. Relax. And then we can check for clonus. Can you relax your foot? Okay. Relax your foot. 
And then the Babinski reflex. Okay. Then we'll check proprioception in the fingers and the toes. If I can see in the case. Okay. So, um, if you want to close your eyes, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to either push your finger up or down. Just let me know which direction it is. Down. Up. Up. Okay, very good. Same thing with the toe. Down. Down. Now I'm going to test for um, vibration sense. Mm -hmm. Do you feel this buzzing? Yes. Okay. And then, do you feel this buzzing? Yes. Okay. And then the test you should not forget um, with any diabetics is to do the monofilament exam. So, if, can you feel this mm -hmm. coming down? All right. Yes. If you can close your eyes, let me know when you feel it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm hmm Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Okay. Other side. Mm hmm Yeah. Yep. 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 Next, we'll test coordination. So, if you want to take your index finger, mm -hmm. touch my index finger, touch your nose, touch my index finger, touch your nose. All right, great. Other finger, touch my index finger, touch your nose. Very good. All right. Um, if I can have you lay flat, please. <coughs> All right, we're going to do the heel to shin. And what I want you to do is Take this heel and bring it straight up and down along your shin. Very good. Take this other heel and again up and down. And with this test, you want to make sure they're laying down because um, if they're sitting, they can let gravity bring their heel down and it won't be able to show their coordination. So next we're going to test Romberg. Um, if you can stand with your feet together and your hands at your sides, um, and then close your eyes and keep your balance. And especially people that can be susceptible to falling, make sure you're behind them and you stabilize them in case they fall. Okay, very good. And with some people um, in the elderly population, you can also continue to test their, pop their balance and stability if you just lightly pull back and see if they can maintain their balance. Now to assess gait, Tom, if I can have you walk just normally in that direction. Okay, very good. And then if you can walk towards me on your uh, heels, please. Very good. I have them walk towards me on the heels so that I can actually see their toes come off the ground. Very good. Walk back in that direction now on your tiptoes. And then I walk watch and walk tiptoe away so I can see their heels come off the ground. Very good. And then last, can you walk heel to toe like you're on a tightrope? Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Thank you. Um, so that concludes our neuro exam. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, and um, you can always go back and look over things and um, we can go in more details with you on the actual OSCE if you have any questions then. Alright, thank you.